express train is passing. For your own safety, please stand before the yellow line. Due to a fatal accident, train service today will be significantly delayed. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience. Do something! 
You're late. I've been waiting for you for quite some time now. If you wish to proceed further, just sign your name. It's a contract of sorts. There's nothing to be afraid of. All it says is that you'll accept responsibility for your decisions from now on. You know, the typical basic contract stuff. You know, it's true time brings an end to all things no matter what you are. Even if we plug up our ears or cover our eyes. And so it begins. Who's there? <laughs> Takaba, wait. But Kurijo Senpai, isn't he? Don't worry. He's an ordinary transfer student. A transfer? We were expecting you to arrive earlier. My name is Mitsuru Kurijo. I live here in the dorms. He couldn't have arrived at a better time? It was a last-minute decision to put him here. He'll most likely be formally assigned to the boys' dorm eventually. Is this all right? We'll see. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait! Your room is on the second floor at the end of the hall. Takaba, would you mind showing him to his room? What? This is Yukari Takaba. She'll be a second year this spring. The same as you. I'm Takaba. Yuki Makoto. It's nice to meet you. Same here. It's nice to meet you. It's getting late. You should rest for tomorrow. I'll show you to your room. Please, follow me. Here, this is the key to your room. Thanks. Um, can I ask you something? Did you run into anything strange walking from the station? Hmm? What I mean is... <sighs> Sorry. It's nothing. Well, have a good night. There it is. Can you see the school? Here it is. Welcome to Gekukan High School. Hope you like it. Starting today, you are all second year students. Let's all have a good year. Don't do anything to get me into trouble, okay? All right, that's it for homeroom. All rise. Bow. Hey, new guy. How's it going, dude? And your? Hey, hey, no need to act all standoffish. The name's Junpei Yori. Just call me Junpei. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I transferred here in my second year of junior high myself. It can be quite hard being a new student here without anyone showing you the ropes. So I figured I'd come break the ice. <laughs> Ain't I nice? Okay. Jeez. Huh? You never change, do you? Huh? Oh, well, if it isn't Yucatan. Who would have guessed we'd both be in the same class again this year? 
You'll talk anyone's ear off if given the chance. Huh? You should be more considerate of the person you're talking to if you're a bother. Huh? It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? Both of us being in the same class together. Hey, wait. Shouldn't you be saying that to me, too? Should I? Takaba! Huh? Kirijo-senpai? Do you have a minute? It's not every day you come to the school. What made you come here, Chairman? When Miss Kirijo told me about our new transfer student, I couldn't help but state my curiosity. So he has the potential, then? That may very well be the case. He's really a very fascinating case, this boy. While he may very well have the potential, he could also be very unstable, suffering from memory loss, disorientation, and so on. And yet, he arrived at the dorm as if it wasn't a problem to him or his mind. He casually walked to the dorm during that hour. Are you saying that he's not normal? <sighs> Possibly. Which brings me to this. Miss Takaba, I would like for you to monitor his activities closely for a while. You mean, you want me to spy on him, don't you? Well, to put it in a darker tone... Skim through his bio before approaching him. You know, I can't help but feel bad for what we're doing. He doesn't know anything about what's going on. Depending on the outcome of our observation, we'll determine whether he is qualified to know or not. I get that part. He seems to have a tendency for transferring from school to school, constantly living with different relatives. His parents are both deceased? Cause of death was the accident that took place here ten years ago. <laughs> that is a strange coincidence. The accident. Ten years ago. Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. I go by the name of Igor. I am ever so delighted to make your acquaintance. And this is Elizabeth. Like me, she is a resident of this place. My name is Elizabeth. It is a pleasure to meet you. The Velvet Room exists between the borders of dream and reality, between the rift of mind and matter. It has been quite a few years since we last welcomed a guest here. Only those who fulfilled the contract in some manner or form may visit the Velvet Room at any given point in time. Which means from this point onwards you are guest here in the Velvet Room. Please take this, my dear guest. This key signifies that you are a guest here in the Velvet Room. Please take good care of it. Until we meet again, young man. Son, please stop! Why? All we're doing is inspecting your personal belongings for you. <laughs> That's goody-goody Fuka for you. Nothing fun or worth taking at all, huh? You keep being diligent now, you hear? Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we're so nice to her, it's scary. Thank you. Very much. Uh, um, I'm sorry. And afterwards, she OD'd in the bar. What? She did that? Are you serious? Yeah, man. I couldn't believe it. I'm getting kind of hungry. Want to go get some ramen? Ramen again. Can't you choose something different? What's wrong with ramen, dude? You just get sick of it after eating.
What? Uh, what? What the? What the hell is this? Hey! What kind of sick joke is this, you guys? Well, he doesn't seem to be changing. Indeed. Both his pulse and brainwaves are stable. It would seem he has the potential. I wouldn't doubt it. Had he not, he would have been taken over by now. Yeah, but watching him sleep feels kind of wrong. This is Operations Room. You're not going to believe this. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Kahiko! Sana the senpai! Are you alright? Yeah, don't worry about me. But wait till you see it. It's quite something. This is no time to talk like that. Sanatakun, the ones that attacked you. Yeah, but it's no ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, remain in operations. Takaba, go upstairs, wake Yuki up, and take him to safety. But what about you? We'll hold them off here no matter what. Do you want to die? Does it matter? Huh? Is dying really that frightening? Yuki-kun, are you- <laughs> oh. uh, What in the world? <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. To the roof! I can't die in a place like this. I still don't know the truth. I will not die here! Are you a- Let's go! Hold on! Nah. Thou art I, and I am thou. 
From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus, master of strings. Persona, Yuki-kun. No! Your psych won't last long if you attack like that! Welcome back to the Velvet Room, young man. Oh, your awakened power is Orpheus, is it not? I see. That is rather fascinating. He is a power that is known as a persona. He is another side of yourself, an alter ego. A persona is a representation of your personality that you present to others in the outside world, as well as a reflection of who you truly are. You could very well think of it as an armored disguise that you put on to confront the many hardships ahead of you in life. With that said, your power is still quite weak at the moment. Though as luck would have it, you appear to have the ability to gain many new personas of differing arcanas. Every time you emerge victorious in these hardships, you will have gained new powers and abilities for your personas. Well then, it appears that some time has indeed passed in the reality that you call home. I shouldn't keep you any longer than need be. We shall eagerly await your next visit to the Velvet Room. Until then, young man, take care. Where am I? The hospital. It's about time you woke up. Jeez. I thought you were gonna sleep forever. But still, I'm glad you're okay. You really had me worried. You were worried? Well, you see, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do anything to help on the roof. Senpai told me to protect you, but I... Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. I really didn't need your help. Well, of all the... How rude! <laughs> uh, 
Hey, Yuki-kun. Sorry to bring this up on you all of a sudden, but it's something I wanted to say to you for a while. Huh? The truth is, I've heard about all the things that happened in your past. Your parents died in the explosion that happened in the city ten years ago, didn't they? That's right. I lost someone too. You see, my dad, he died in that same accident ten years ago. I hated having our knowledge of each other so one-sided, so I've been wanting to tell you to make it fair. I'm sorry that I hid it from you. And all the other things, as well. The other things? When you get back to the dorm, I think they'll explain everything to you. You can decide what you want to do after that. Later. Come in. Hello. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I am Gekukun High's chairman of the board. I believe the only other person you're unfamiliar with is Sonata-kun. Amaki Hiko Sanada. It's a pleasure. Please, sit down. Now then, I hate to get right to the point, and this may sound delusional, but are you aware that there are more than just 24 hours in a day? Yeah. What? You knew about the dark hour? I can't recall when it started, but I've known for as long as I can remember. I see. As you are aware, the dark hour is a hidden hour in time. It is the time between one day and the next that appears only to those with the potential to summon personas, an unknown time, and we call it the dark hour. Ordinary humans are unaware of it, because they reside in a coffin during that time. However, that isn't the problem at hand. You've seen them, right? The monsters? We call them shadows. The shadows appear only in the dark hour and attack those who are not inside their coffins. All those people on the news lately, suffering of apathy syndrome, are probably the victims of the shadows. Which brings where we come in. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. On the surface, we are a school club, but in reality, we are an elite group dedicated to defeating the shadows. Defeating... The shadows? That's right. There are actually only a handful of people who are capable of function during the dark hour. Such people have the potential to awaken a special power inside them that are capable of fighting the shadows. You mean personas? Yes. In short, only people like you are able to fight the shadows. What do you think? Sounds awesome, right? Akihiko, you just got hurt the other day. To put it simply, I'd like you to join us. I've already made an evoker for you as well. So, would you be willing to help? Very well. What? Are you sure you're not going to think about it? We appreciate it. Right now, we need all the help that we can get. And besides, uh, that's an interesting ability you have. Are you against uh, this, Miss Takaba? Oh, no. I am glad to have him a part of us, but... Then it's settled. We're all looking forward to working with you, Yuki-kun. Yeah, just like that, all right, all right, and break! How's that? Huh? Oh man, I failed again. So, doesn't it look like fun, new guy? I guess. What? You guess? Yeah, all right! Seems like Junpei is in a good mood today. He even said he'd pay for us to play here. Maybe it was something he ate. Yo! How you guys doing? Having as much fun as I am? Oh, me, you ask? Well, let's just say I'm not the Junpei you guys once knew. You can call me New Junpei. Yo, Tomochika, let's play this one next. You're really paying for everything, right? Of course. I'm trusting you to watch my six. Woo! Another level cleared! It's strange seeing you in an arcade, though. Well, all my stuff are packed in boxes in my room right now. So, I've got nothing to do until tonight. Hey, what's up? You're staying here? No way! This has to be a joke, right? Well, I bumped into him the other evening. He's only recently awoken to it, but he has the potential, no doubt about it. Him? Potential? Are you serious? 
Senpai over here says he found me bowling like a baby in a mini mart that was full of coffins. You were lost. I was not! Anyway, Sonata Senpai said that's perfectly normal at first. This is textbook persona user stuff. Don't you know? We've assembled quite a suitable force. I think we can finally begin operations. What? We're gonna go on a mission already? Then I'm your man. Nothing to worry about. That's good to hear. In that case, meet us just before midnight tonight. We'll be at... Ugh, even at night this place gets me down in the dumps. I hate to break it to you guys, but I didn't bring any pen or paper with me. Just watch. It's almost midnight. What the? This is Tartarus, a labyrinth that appears only during the Dark Hour. If we're correct, this is the key to solving the mystery of the Dark Hour. That's true. It's too much of a coincidence that the tower would only appear during the Dark Hour. However, at the same time, this place could also be called the Shadow's Nest. Up until now, we lacked the manpower to conduct a thorough search of Tartarus. But with the amount of members we have now, we can do it. Those weapons were specially constructed in a Kalija laboratory. <coughs> Ordinary weapons have no effect, but in the hands of Persona users, these weapons allow us to inflict physical damage to the shadows. Boom! Run! During the Dark Hour, Persona <laughs> users' physical abilities are boosted to an extent. Please hit! You should be able to defeat weaker shadows using just those weapons. Take a good look. This is how it's done. Watch and learn! Personas are your top cards, so be careful with how much you use them. I can do it too! Da 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 da! Junpei has leveled up! You all seem to be doing pretty well. You bet! With me along, this is a piece of cake! But it sure is handy. Hearing you directly give orders in our heads like this. Huh. With my Penthesilius ability, this is the best I can do, even with an amplifier. Oh. Huh? I hear something. <laughs> what is it? I don't know! An earthquake? It's here. Uh. Whoa! What the hell is that? Be careful! This <laughs> one's dangerous! That much is obvious! Hermes! What the? It didn't work? Help me! Eo! Working? <laughs> Talk about Iori! Yuki, you have to do something to turn the tides. I understand. Yuki could? Orpheus. doing it. So this is how a Persona user does battle. <laughs> no. 
Orpheus. Amazing. <gasps> Yuki-kun! As expected. Uh, Are you all right? I'm fine. You shouldn't be so reckless. What the hell, man? Even I could have done that much. As I begin my term as student council president, I would like to tell you my vision for the school. For our school to be the best it can be, drive and enthusiasm on all our parts is important. However, for us all to remain focused on one goal for an entire... <sighs> How can anyone compete with someone like that? That speech she gave was flawless. That makes you wonder if she has any weakness at all. Fire, probably. Well, I didn't mean physically. Pardon the intrusion! Hey, senpai! I brought the thing you asked me oh. for- Uh, this is Sonata Senpai's... Mm. Hospital room, no? Oh, you're here. Uh -huh. Yuki and Takaba. Why did you guys come too? Oh, we're here to see how you were. You seem to be doing fine, though. I'm only here for a simple checkup. Aki. Oh? Huh? Are we done? Yeah. Thanks for the help. <sighs> I've got better uh. things to do than play along with your shit, Aki. That guy never changes. He's actually a student at Gekokan High. Apparently he knew about some apathy syndrome victims, so I called him here to ask about it. Really now? Talk about dedication. So, anyway, Junpei, hmm? did you bring it? Oh yeah, I have it right here. Wait, isn't that... They confiscate everything when you check in. Apparently, patients are forbidden from exercise. I can't keep slacking off or you guys might get ahead of me. Uh... Speaking of which, why'd you get into boxing, senpai? I'm not really into boxing in particular. Any kind of unarmed martial arts would do. A while back, I learned what it felt like to be powerless. That's one regret I refuse to experience ever again. Hey, we're done here, right? Uh huh? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey! Where are you going? <laughs> that guy really rubs me the wrong way. Sonata Senpai is much cooler in comparison. I fight so I won't regret it. Almost sounds like a line from a fantasy game protagonist. That's typically the kind of stuff you guys are into. <sighs> Yucatan, what do you think it is that Makoto fights for? Maybe... he doesn't have a reason. He fights because he was asked to. Huh? What's that mean? Perhaps... he doesn't have anything to fight for. He's been alone all this time. Quit bothering me, you're so damn annoying. I can't just let it be. They say there's a bunch of dangerous people there. I don't want you to get involved in anything that could cause you harm. Why do you care about what I do or where I go? What are you, my mother? But I have to care! What is with you? You're so damn annoying! Uh, uh, hey, uh, I only hang out with you so I can mess with you. Seriously, stop acting like we're friends when we're not. Huh? You're the one who helped me from before. Oh. Uh. Here, thank you for your kindness earlier. Thank you. I usually have to buy food for everyone during lunch break at school, so I don't really have time to eat lunch myself. Oh. What is it? Why do you have to care? Huh? She said you shouldn't care for her, right? Yeah, but it's because we're friends. 
It's my own fault that Moriyama-san is so upset with me. I wasn't very considerate of her feelings, and I said some pretty insensitive things. I can't seem to bring it out of myself to apologize to her. I think it's probably because I'm afraid that she won't forgive me. You're afraid? I'm afraid. She's a dear friend I hold close to me. That's why I can't help but care. A dear friend. Hello, how are you? You're that boy. Be careful. Another hmm? trial will be awaiting you sooner than expected. Hmm? A trial? You'll find out when the time arrives. Hmm? <laughs> well then, I'll pay you a visit another time. Mitsuru? You're still working. Yes. There's no telling when the enemy will appear. We don't know what they will target, so all we can do is cast a net over the entire town. I asked Shinjiro earlier about the apathy syndrome victims, but it sounds like my hunch was wrong. If only. If only my Penthesilius detection ability was higher, we'd be better off. Huh? This is... I don't believe it. Have you found them? No, wait. Something's off. This reading is different. It's too large. I've never seen anything like... <sighs> <laughs> so we found another one like last month. We have a full moon tonight, huh? It sure looks creepy during the dark hour. <gasps> yeah! Huh? What is that? Huh? Sorry I'm late. The shadow is located inside a train car a bit outside the station. Wait a minute, doesn't that mean we'll have to walk down the tracks? Isn't that dangerous? Don't worry, machines don't function during the dark hour. Same with trains, they won't be running. Huh? But weren't you just driving this? It's specially made. Yuki, I'm giving you field command. What? Hey wait a minute, how come this guy gets to be a leader? I'm counting on you. I understand. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, Yuki-kun. Yeah. <sighs> Why didn't she pick me? We're here, Mitsuru. The enemy reading is definitely coming from inside that train. The doors are open. You're right. It's definitely strange for the doors to be open before it's reached the station. <coughs> what? You've got to be kidding! <coughs> Damn it! You won't budge! What's wrong? Did something happen? The doors just closed! We're locked in! It was a trap by the shadows. <coughs> <coughs> Speak of the devil! <coughs> Behind us too! Hey! You're not running away, you bastard! Yuki, wait! Don't run off by yourself! Huh? I can handle this thing by myself just fine! Yuki, stop! Yuki, we have to go after him! We do. He's our partner, Yuki! Hmm. <laughs> We're moving. How is it running during the dark hour? The entire train seems to be under the control of the shadows. Oh. 
It seems to be! Hey, we've got a problem. What is it this time? If the train keeps accelerating, it'll hit the next train ahead in a few minutes. <gasps> Listen, I'm sensing a powerful presence from the lead car. That's probably the one that's controlling it. So we just need to destroy that, right? Mm. Here we go! Hermes! See? Now that's how you do it! Whoa! That was close! Uh, what in the world? This one... feels totally different than the others. But even I can take this thing on myself. Hurry! You don't have a lot of time! We know that! Uh, thank you. Damn you! Damn it! Damn it! I can do it too! I can do it too! You guys are here? Junpei! Are you okay? Orpheus. <laughs> Yuki-kun! Why, you? <laughs> we'll never get close like this! Do whatever it takes! If you don't stop the train, you'll get into a collision in less than five minutes! But what can we do?! Hey! What does she mean by collision? What are you guys talking about?! We're going to crash into the train ahead of us if we don't stop this one. What?! The dark hour is a time period that shouldn't exist. If something is destroyed during that time, it will create a paradox. If that were to happen... <clears throat> Wait a minute! But... but everyone's still inside the train. If it collides with us still in it... Then we'll die. Huh? We're all gonna die? You're kidding, right? You're making it sound like... Like we're all fighting for our own lives here! Idiot! You just realized this now? No. It appears that the time has come once again, for you to awaken to a new power. You have a unique power, young man. It is unlike that of the others. It is empty, yet contains an infinite amount of possibilities. Unlike the others, you are the only one capable of holding multiple personas and are able to evoke new ones as the need arises. This is the Magician Arcana that you won in your earlier battle. The persona it contains is... Huh? Come forth, Jack Frost! What? A different persona!
amazing. You can use a persona that way? Hurry! You're running out of time! <laughs> but it's all he's able to do to hold it off! He can't attack! <laughs> can you watch my six? <laughs> you freaking show off. You don't need to ask your partners that. Junpei? Yeah, I know. I understand it now. If I don't do this, how can I call myself a man? This is how you do it! Get your ass out here, Persona! I told you I could have handled that myself. Why? Huh? Why aren't we stopping? What? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Ah, damn it! Which one is it? I but how? Stop this thing. We defeated all the shadows, didn't we? How can you be so oh, calm and collected? If we don't stop this train, this we'll one. die! Oh, uh, is no, that what you're trying to do? Uh, Hey, do you know what you're doing? I saw how earlier. Earlier? That was a game! Makoto, stop! We stopped? <sighs> Is this good enough? <laughs> well, damn. You're not so useless after all, huh? <sighs> Fuku Yamagishi, a second year student in Class E. Woo! Sweet! This girl's gonna be a new member, right? It's that girl. Apparently, she was in the hospital we were at. They noticed her potential there. Oh, hey! Where have you been? I went by the hospital to see those two girls that were found unconscious at the school this morning. Something about it bothered me. Oh, those girls in Class E? To have found them passed out in front of school like that sure must have been really creepy. What do you think? I think... Yes, apathy syndrome. Both of the girls have it. Huh? <clears throat> apathy syndrome? But you only get that when you're attacked by shadows, right? That's right. And the fact that they were found at Gekuken High's front gate is what's even more troubling. You think it's connected to Tartarus somehow? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think that's entirely the case at all. Do you have a different assumption? Truth is, there are a bunch of rumors flying around school. Good evening, everyone. It's time for the hour of Yori Junpei. The world is full of strange and inexplicable things and events. 
Are you aware of the ghost story about how if you stay at school late at night, the ghosts of dead students will appear and devour you? A good friend of mine told me about this. Miss A is her name. Iori-san, I saw one of the most strangest things. That girl. <laughs> she said she saw the two unconscious girls from Class E here at school late at night. After hearing that, which conclusion do you think I drew from this? Really? Those two were at school during the night, so they were eaten by those dead students, no doubt? <laughs> This world really is full of strange and inexplicable things and events. Was it really ghosts that attacked those girls? Or perhaps it was something else? What do you think? Vengeful spirits aside, those two girls, the fact they were both struck with apathy syndrome at the same time at school bothers me. If we retrace their footsteps, we might find evidence to implicate whether they were attacked by shadows. And if we learn what those signs are, we might be able to prevent them from attacking any more people. What do you think they were doing in school late at night? That's where our answer lies. If we can figure out why they were there, we might be able to learn something. Fuka Yamagishi isn't here again, huh? Hey, can we go now? Hey! This is a new female member we're talking about! Where's your pride as a man? Uh, uh excuse me. Huh? Has Miss Yamagishi gone home already? Miss Yamagishi's been out from school since last week. She's been sick ever since. Are you serious? Yeah. How can you say something like that? I only offered a hypothesis based on the evidence that was presented to me. They brought it upon themselves. Are you kidding? What did they do to earn being unconscious in front of the school? They were probably on drugs or something. It goes without saying. Those two partied a lot during the night behind Port Island Station. You're well aware how famous that place is for the scum of mm -hmm. this town. <sighs> You're the worst. Port Island Station, huh? You think it's connected somehow? Beats me, but that's our only lead. Mm. What would a couple of party girls have been doing at school late at night? Mm. Hmm. How about the people who partied with them behind Port Island Station? They should know. Huh? It's worth a shot! Well, look, you see... What is it? Going to a place like that would be just too dangerous. We should stay clear of that place. We're in the face of danger every night! What's something like this in comparison to that? We have to do this! Even though... things like this might not interest you, Yuki-kun. Come on, dude! I'm not gonna let you weasel your way out of this one. You're coming with us. I understand. Woo! That's my man! This ship cruises together! Okay. With you and I together, there's nothing to fear. Okay. So anyway, that dude was still talking shit, right? So I got pissed the hell off. <laughs> You're such a baby. Shut up. Huh? Who the hell are they? Huh? Seriously? Uniforms? Ah, aren't those Gecko Khan highs? Ah, oh, shit. This is much worse than I thought. Junpei, stop gawking. Easy for you to say. Hey, kids. I think you took a wrong turn somewhere. Having you around kills the atmosphere around here. Go home, goatee. Huh? <laughs> goatee? Oh, you mean this on my face? Since when do we need permission from the likes of you people? Huh. You got some spunk. I like that. Hey! Are you crazy? Are you trying to get us killed or something? Are you afraid? Uh, well, don't. They're just punk scum anyway. Perhaps you have a little too much spunk, bitch. Uh, we're sorry! She didn't mean anything by it. She's just a girl you got a something to pride. say too, punk? She's really a nice girl. That's smart. Huh? You chained your ear to your face so you wouldn't lose it. <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> dude, he got you! You little shit! Oh, sorry. <sighs> Not bad, but... Alright, that's enough. Ah, and who the hell are you? 
Hey, wait. Isn't that... They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. Will that suffice? What? You trying to get in my way? I'll take you down too! How annoying. Don't act like you're hot shit! Wait, you're that Aragaki guy, aren't you? You hang out here. Aren't you supposed to be one of us? I don't ever recall considering myself as one of you guys. Uh, uh, fuck this. Thank you for helping you us. You idiots. Uh? Go home. You guys don't belong here. Uh, please wait! I'm sorry, but we can't leave. Not until we find out what we have to. You mean about that ghost story, right? Huh? But how did you know? It's pretty obvious from your school uniforms. Those girls who were hospitalized hung out here and ran their mouths off every day. They talked about how they were bullying a classmate of theirs named Yamagishi. Uh -huh. What? She was being bullied? That's why everyone's freaking out. Saying how Yamagishi's spirit is after him. Yamagishi's spirit? What do you mean by that? You really don't know? They say that Yamagishi kid might be dead. What? You're kidding! <laughs> Apparently, Yamagishi hasn't come back home for about a week or so. You mean, you three go to the same school, and you've never heard about this? Everyone told us that Yamagishi was just out sick. Well, that's all I know about it. Are we done here? Uh, yeah! Thanks for the help! Go on and show your respect for the man! Uh... Thank you for the help. Don't pull another stupid ass stunt like this again. You're quite soft. Huh? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. <sighs> I didn't... I didn't want any of this. About ten days ago, prior to the two students being found unconscious, the four of you had stayed inside the school after hours. What were you up to? What did you do to Yamagishi? We were just... We were just messing around with her. <laughs> Go on! Come on! Stay come there. on. <laughs> Wait, bye -bye. Don't. Thanks for guarding Are the you school! You locked her in? Later on that night, the other girls were worried that she may have committed suicide, so they went back to check on her. But those two never came back after that. And the next day, both were found unconscious in front of the school gates. Huh. I was afraid! After I saw those two, I went back to the gym thinking I had to let Fuka out, and the door was still locked. But when I opened it, Fuka wasn't there anymore! She vanished? I see. Did you notice anything odd about your friends who were hospitalized? Voices. Voices calling to them. They said they heard creepy voices calling their names. Voices? Wait, is that...? There can be no doubt. We had always assumed that there was no way of knowing who would fall into the dark hour. So the voices, huh. They're lured in to fall to the dark hour. Or rather, they're pulled in. Seeing firsthand the damage they cause leads me to this conclusion. They are clearly targeting humans. The shadows are humanity's prey without a doubt. But what about Yamagishi? Why did she disappear? It makes no sense. Makes you wonder if shadows were behind that as well, right? Who knows? <laughs> How can you talk like that? Isn't Yamagishi a friend of yours? I guess so. Uh, are you worried about her? Hey, Yucatan, what are you getting so riled up for? <laughs> we'll assemble in the operations room after school. We'll discuss how to deal with this then. I understand. Operations room? What kind of club are you guys? We'll save her. We'll save Yamagishi at all costs. She most likely hasn't left the school building since she disappeared. Uh <laughs> 
I've decided to keep Natsuki Moriyama in protective custody here in the dorm. That way, if anything happens, we'll be able to take immediate action if so. Hold on. I'm still confused about something. How can Yamagishi still be in the school? What happens to the school at 12 midnight? That's obvious. It turns to Tartarus. Exactly. Considering what we know, if my assumptions are correct, Yamagishi got into Tartarus from the gym. Huh? <laughs> no way! So you're telling me she's been in Tartarus for 10 days? <sighs> that might not be true. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. With that said, where do you think Yamagishi goes during the day? She is nowhere. Essentially, she ceases to exist during the day. I believe. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. If that theory is true, Yamagishi has probably been in the dark hour ever since. It may be ten days for us, but for Yamagishi, she has only experienced ten hours of the dark hour. There is a chance she is alive. Even so, if that were true, there's nothing that can guarantee her well-being. An ordinary person who can't use a persona, trapped in a place that's full of shadows. <coughs> so you're just gonna automatically assume she's dead? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. There's a way. We all enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. Wait inside the school gym until the dark hour appears? Is that really safe? To be completely honest, I can't wholeheartedly recommend this operation. At worst, you could end up stranded like her. Still. I refuse to just sit here twiddling my thumbs. Not if we can do something. I won't ever regret myself again. I'll go by myself if I must. Senpai. I understand there are risks, but what Akihiko says makes sense. I can't guarantee your safety, but I hope we can count on you. I understand. Do you really understand? Uh, what's gotten into you, Yukatan? In comparison, I may not have the same inexorable resolve that Sonata Senpai has. But even so, if I see someone that I can help, I'll do whatever I can to help them. That goes for Yamagishi as well. Even I want to save her. But you don't care. If you don't have a reason to fight, then don't. That side of you really makes me mad. Very well. Hey, what do you mean by very well? Hey, Makoto, wait up, dude. Yukatan didn't really mean all that. Come on, dude. You're sure about this? If it's just to rescue Yamagishi, we won't need very much manpower. They should be able to handle it on their own. But just to be safe, I'll arrange for little insurance. <laughs> Don't you think you're a little hard on him, Yukatan? I'm afraid. I'm afraid for him. If he keeps fighting with no resolve for himself, he's going to get himself killed someday. You're just thinking too much. Hmm? Takaba, Iori. We're all set to go. Are oh. you ready? Ready! But are you sure about leaving him here? Yes. I'll have him stay here and be on guard for Natsuki Moriyama. Well, if you're okay with it. So you're not going? She told me it'd make her mad if I came along. <laughs> Seriously? Well, not that I really care. You hated her that much. You mean Fuka? Ha! <laughs> Get real! Things like that doesn't have anything to do with hate. She annoys me is all. That's it. You know Fuka. When you push her buttons just a little, she gets this look on her face like it's the end of the world. But from then on, I could tell. She was nothing but a do-gooder. But deep down, she was just like us. I could tell. She didn't belong anywhere either. That's why I let her hang out with us. And could you believe what Fuka said at that point? You should go home. Your family must be worried sick about you. What a load of shit. I go out to party because I've got no home. We're the same, her and I. We're the same so I could tell. I knew just what to say to her that would hurt her the most. <laughs> it 
admit it. Isn't it funny? She said she wanted to apologize. Huh? She wanted to apologize for saying such insensitive things to the one she cared for most, to you. Tch, little too late for that now. She said she was afraid you wouldn't forgive her. That sounds like her. <clears throat> she said you were her most precious friend. <gasps> That's why she was afraid. <clears throat> Fuka, you idiot. See, I got us in no problem. I'm a, what you call it? A prodigy. You unlocked it during the day. Très bien. Trey's Ben? Good job. Uh... All right, we'll divide into two teams here. Two of us will assault Tartarus. I and one other will remain on standby outside. I'll be on the assault team. Uh, then I'll go with Sonata Senpai. Time out, time out, Yukatan. What is it? Look, remember when I screwed up really badly back on the monorail? Give me a chance to redeem myself, please. Trust is supposed to be earned. So I'll give you a chance to. You're with me on the assault team. Yes! Uh... What's wrong, Takaba? Does being paired with Mitsuru make you uncomfortable? Uh-huh. No, that's not it at all! If that's settled, let's all get ready. It's almost time. to apologize. It's no good. I can't hear either of their voices. I'll try boosting the output. Perhaps I should have gone with them? As I said before, I'm not willing to risk more members. Mm. They're both doing fine. I'm sure of it. Don't be such a wimp, Junpei. Easy for you to say. It's been over 30 minutes since our last contact with Kirijo-senpai. Aren't you worried at all, man? Don't worry. It's still 12 midnight. Who's there? <laughs> Is someone there? Uh. Are you... human? <laughs> Fuku Yamagishi, right? Huh? Oh, that's right. But who are you? Everything's okay now. We're here to rescue you. To rescue... me? I'm amazed to see that you're okay. There are monsters everywhere here. So that's what it was. This feeling I've had about this place. I've managed to avoid being spotted by most of them so far. Managed to avoid them? Not even once? But how? Um... I'm not sure how to explain it. It's almost like I can sense exactly where they are. Sense them? What do you mean? Like a women's intuition? A detection ability like Mitsuru's, huh? No, perhaps even more powerful. Here, take this. Huh? But this is... Think of it as a good luck charm. It doesn't fire anything. Hello there. Mm. Hey. It looks like your teammates have found that girl. Isn't that great? After all, her abilities are something that you guys need right now. <laughs> are you sure you shouldn't have gone? I don't know. Even though the other girl has gone there as well? Huh?
Whoa! Dude, the moon is huge and bright. Wait, was it always this bright? There is a theory that shadows are influenced by the phases of the moon. Of course, that also holds true for humans. We have a full moon tonight, huh? It sure looks creepy during the dark hour. A full moon? Again? <laughs> now I see. Uh, of course. So was that night. And the night before that. Huh? Senpai? <laughs> Why didn't I see it sooner? The night the dorm was attacked. The night of the monorail battle. And now, today. They were all full moons! Yes, that's right. A trial will be coming tonight. <laughs> Mitsuru! <laughs> Mitsuru! Mitsuru! What is this? <laughs> They're way bigger than the ones before. <gasps> They're attacking people! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, what is it? What's going on? It's them. The bigger shadows. They only come out during the full moon. It seems like you'll be facing more than just one trial tonight. What do you mean? I'm saying that it will be hard to overcome. If you don't do something, everyone will die. They'll die? <laughs> <gasps> They'll die. What will you do? <laughs> Mitsuru! Yukatan! Are you okay? Uh, 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 be careful! They're strong! Alright, that's as far as you go! Polydeuces! <laughs> Strikes seem to be useless against it. All right, then. Way to go, senpai! And now it's my turn. Stand back! Come on, come on, come on, come on! We did it. Uh, what the? I'll get this one! Huh? Didn't it work last time? No way! Why is she here? Fuka. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't be a fool! Get out of there! Uh... 
I... I'm... I'm so... So sorry. I'm so sorry, Fuka. I'm sorry, Fuka. <laughs> I'm sorry. Moriyama said. <laughs> What are you doing? Let's run away! No! That isn't a gun! I know. Don't do it! Run! Persona. Don't be reckless! Your persona isn't meant for combat! Yes! Orpheus? But why? The very ghost showing up and hogging all the glory, you bastard. <laughs> Don't do it! Forget about using fire! Orpheus' attacks are no good! Is that right? I've evoked another persona. Did it work? No. Be careful! They're still alive! Yamagishi and Moriyama and get out of here! If you stay, we'll all die! You need to save yourselves! Hurry! What are you doing? Go! Get out of here! Oh no, you don't! Get going, damn it! Just go! Hurry!
She's a dear friend I hold close to me. That's why I can't help but care. Can you watch my six? <laughs> you freaking show off. If I don't do this, how can I call myself a man? She said you were her most precious friend. That's why she was afraid. <laughs> Persona. I made a promise to myself to never let another person die. I'm not gonna let these things take out my friends! Worked. These enemies are able to alter what they're vulnerable to at will. However, they can't become invulnerable, so a weakness will always exist. I don't believe it. You can see it? Yes. Yes, Wind! I understand! They're changing their weakness again! Lightning! I've been waiting for this. Use ice! Jack Frost! A sword will work! Alright then! Don't mess with me. One more! We can do it! Fire will work this time! Here's our chance! Go get him, Makoto! Yuki-kun, go for it! Yuki! Do it! Yuki! Persona! We actually did it. <laughs> D 
Did you hear? Yamagishi-san is back at school starting today. Yes. Being thrown into an unexpected battle unprepared exhausted her pretty badly, but she seems to have finally recovered. I'm having mixed feelings, though. That Natsuki girl doesn't remember anything that happened during the dark hour, right? Wouldn't that mean that she's also forgotten that Yamagishi-san saved her life? Well, I don't think that hey, will be a problem. Hey, girl's back. Head out, she'll hear you. Fuka! <laughs> Moriyama-san. Fuka, you're moving into the dorms, right? Y yes You're gonna need to buy some stuff, right? If you want, I can tag along with you when you go shopping. <gasps> Moriyama-san. Still, what was Moriyama doing in Tartarus in the first place? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? She came to help her friend. Huh? Hey, wait a minute! Makoto! Did you just smile? Junpei!
So it looks like you've overcome yet another trial. Mm. When I look at you, I sense great potential that's the opposite of the end of all things. An example would be how much your power seems to have changed from the beginning. My powers? Hey, would you mind being friends with me? I'm really curious about you. My name is Pharos. It's, how do you say it, a pleasure. I have found you.